At the concrete plant where she leapt to her death, friends of Rebecca Sedgwick created a makeshift memorial. These stuffed animals and balloons reflect just how young she was, 12 years old. Her mother, Tricia Norman, says her daughter's suicide came after months of bullying on social media and in person. What's your definition of bullying? Well, my definition of bullying is any negative, rude behavior um, that is intentional to put someone else down um, and doesn't have to be, but often repeated is so it happens more than once, but it, that isn't always the case. What do you think is the target of bullying? Looks probably is a big target of bullying if they don't have the right look or a physical feature. I think that's a common one. How does bullying affect students' ability to learn? It affects their ability to learn in all aspects of education from to the extreme you don't want to come to school to you can't concentrate when you're in a class if the bully is there. You don't want to ride the bus. Um, sometimes kids don't sleep well. They actually can physically feel sick from a headache to an upset stomach. So it impacts their education to me tremendously. What do you think is the target of bullying? I think bullies target kids that they think that they're weaker than them so that it makes them feel good about themselves when they bully someone. How do you think bullying has changed in the last five years? I think bullying has become more global and like technology or oriented. It's not a cyberbullying. There's not much more fist fights and stuff. There's more um, on the computer. People are saying other stuff about other people. And at school, they're transmitting that into verbal abuse. Have you seen the aftermath of bullying? How did it affect you? I have seen the aftermath of bullying. Because I was personally bullied, and it was by my best friend, and we just, like, I, we were, like, the best of friends, like, a week before it happened, and then the next thing you know, he's, like, tackling me, and, like, punch, and his friend is punching me, and it just made me feel like, what happened? Like, I, I, we were best friends, and now one of my best friends is gone, and it just made me feel sad, like, yeah. Third grade to now, I've, I've seen bullying, like, every year. As I saw some kids get kicked off of things for putting things on text. And it just started out as real innocent, I think, or email. I think it was text, then another term was email. And they started out real innocent. They were just talking amongst themselves. Then pretty soon they included a couple other people. And, and then they were really being nasty about someone. And it was rude. So, well, you know, it's nice to give people second chances. But some people don't get a second chance, like people who commit suicide jump off a, a water tower because they've been bullied, you know, people that feel like they have to change schools, people who go into depression because people are mean to them. When all you have to really do is just give a smile, know their name, ask their name, that's it. So my experience with bullying really started in kind of like third grade almost. The thing that was like ever kind of caught me off guard is I had this friend, and I went, uh, went up to her, and I was like, oh, can we hang out today? And she's like, no, because I don't like you. And, like, I was little, so I was like, well, what, I guess? And it just kind of made me feel bad, so I guess I was like, the first thing that happened to me is just kind of shocked me how kids can be rude from such a young age. But it really hit hard when I was in fifth grade, because I, over spring break, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and when I came back, one of the first things that was said to me was, 
my kid came up to me and said, I hope you go into a diabetic coma. And like, that was very hard for me because I just came back and I had this disease that I have to deal with for the rest of my life. And it was just like, I didn't know how to deal with it. And it was just kind of hard for me. And all through middle school, like I've been teased for what I wear, what I'm into. I've been teased for my art before. People have like, taken my sketchbooks. I've even had uh, experience where a couple of boys took my sketchbook and were drawing all over my art in it. And it just made me feel just like, like it wasn't good enough. And I want to be an artist when I grow up. And it, like it made me feel like I wasn't good enough to be what I want to be. And I don't know, it's just kind of like really put me down and just made me depressed. I actually became depressed and I remember I just go home and I cry every day when I go home from school. Just like, I didn't tell anybody about it at all. Bullying has really, really affected me in my life and I just really hope that it is toned down a lot. Now we're gonna have you Pick a person that inspires you the most in your life and then write why they inspire you on the back of the Hayden? Yeah. Hey, I just want to say that you inspire me the most in my life and you're such a strong person and We've been through so much together, and you're always by my side, and you always support me, and all these things. And I just want you to know how grateful I am for that. Well, thank you, Maddie. You're a sweetheart. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll have to go. I love you, Maddie. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> If you are a person, which I will call a bystander, and you see rude, disrespectful, bullying behavior, and you do nothing about it, you are part of the problem. So the person who has the most power to change this is the students themselves. Um, make them feel important that day. High five them that day. You know, even if they're not your best friend, somebody reached out to them. I think, you know, some of the principals and leadership um, you know, forgiving people, making commitments to people, you know, being more humble to people, being more patient with people, and serving other people. If you're being a bystander, then you're really participating. So if you're standing back and allowing it to happen, you are actually um, prolific, proliferating the bullet. Down, just try to imagine if you were in their shoes and you were insecure or something like that and you just got put down by people every day, it's just like it's a horrible feeling. Only the people that are bullying can really stop it because no one else can change someone else's mind. It's just the bullies have to think for themselves and say that this is wrong and that I need to fix myself. Stop bullying. Stop bullying. Stop bullying. So remember, stop bullying.